Hi, my name is Dr. Jay Desai and I welcome you all to this 17th video on gate series for metallurgical engineering. In this video, I'm talking about different types of cast irons. Gray cast iron, ductile or nodular cast iron, white cast iron and malleable cast iron. But before we proceed, what is there for you in this video? Why it is crucial to watch this video till the end. So this video will help you understand the difference between different cast irons, which usually takes hours. And this video will reduce that efforts to within 10 to 12 minutes. So it is time saving. Also, it will help with applications in real life scenario whether you are in research, academia, or in industry, you can fabricate new cast iron products based on this information, or it can help you with modification of design of different parts to achieve superior long lasting properties. Also, at the end of the video, I'm having a small quiz to promote efficient brainstorming. All this within 10 to 12 minutes is a win-win scenario. So stay tuned and watch till the end. So what are cast irons? Cast irons are ferrous alloys with carbon content greater than 2.1 weight percent. And usually the range is 2.5 to 4.5 weight percent carbon. These cast irons are completely liquid at temperature range of 1150 to 1300, which is much lower than those observed in steels. And that is why cast irons can be easily melted and casted. Also, they are very brittle due to large amount of cementite. And therefore, casting is the most convenient fabrication method to produce different cast iron products. And that is why the name cast irons. There are four basic types of cast irons. Gray cast iron, ductile or nodular cast iron, white cast iron and malleable cast iron. Let's start with gray cast iron. So gray cast iron has a carbon percent of 2.5 to 4 weight percent and it also has silicon present in it which is in the range of 1 to 3 weight percent and this silicon is a graphite promoter. So the carbon which is there in the ferrous alloy will be in a form of graphite and graphite mostly exists in the form of flakes, which is surrounded by either alpha ferrite or pearlite matrix. Here you can see graphite flakes in alpha ferrite matrix, and here you can see graphite flakes in the pearlite matrix. And since these flakes are sharp and pointed, they are comparatively weak and brittle in tension because these flakes act as a stress racers or stress concentrators. But this is not the scenario under compression. Under compressive loads, these gray cast irons show high strength and high ductility. They also show high resistance to wear and also high fluidity in the molten state. And this high fluidity helps them to fabricate into complex or intricate shapes. And that is why intricate shape fabrication is possible with the help of with the gray cast iron. Also, in gray cast iron, the shrinkage or the casting shrinkage is very low. And this all factors leads to low expense. That is why the cast iron products are least expensive among all cast irons. We can see the applications of cast irons in valve parts, machine tool housings, brake drums, and so on. Now, if we take this gray cast iron and if we add magnesium or cerium to it, then this gray cast iron will be converted to ductile or nodular cast iron. So the graphite, which was initially in the form of flakes, will be converted to nodules or spear-like particles in the same alpha ferrite or politic matrix. The microstructure looks like this, where we can see the graphite nodules in alpha ferrite or politic matrix. And this ductile or nodular cast iron is much more stronger and much more ductile than gray cast iron. 
The composition is same carbon 2.5 to 4 with person, silicon 1 to 3 with person. Just the addition of magnesium and cerium will convert the graphite flakes to graphite nodules, which will improve the properties of grey cast iron. We can see the applications of ductile cast iron in valves, pump bodies, crankshafts, gears, and automotive components. Now, before we move further in the video, I would like to talk about the video, spons video sponsor, Metagate Coaching. It's a premier coaching institute in Hyderabad, and they have shown great results in GATE 2020 and GATE 2021. And apart from the ranks, great number of selections in PSU and government jobs are also there. And they have started their online live classes for GATE 2022 Metallurgical Engineer. So if you are interested in giving the GATE examination for metallurgy, then this is the best website or best place to visit. You can reach out to them on the contact number or through the website. Okay. Continuing with the video, we'll start with the third category of cast irons, that is white cast iron. Here, it is a carbon iron alloy that contains carbon content greater than 2% in the form of cementite. In the gray cast iron and in the ductile cast iron, the carbon was in the form of graphite. But in the case of white cast iron, the carbon is in the form of cementite. And this is formed when carbon in solution is not able to form graphite on solidification. Why it is like that? Because silicon, which was graphite promoter, is less than one weight person. And rapid cooling rates are there in the fabrication of white cast iron. So this low silicon content and rapid cooling rates leads to the formation of white cast iron. They are extremely hard and abrasion resistant, but also they are very brittle due to large amount of cementite phase. And that is why they cannot be machined. The composition of white cast iron is same as gray cast iron. The carbon concentration is 2.5 to 4 weight percent, but the silicon content is very low. It is less than 1 weight percent. And that is why the carbon is in form of cementite, not in the form of graphite. So, and we can use this white cast irons in the hard and wear resistant surface. Wherever the hard and wear resistant surface is required, we can use this white cast irons. We can see the applications of white cast irons in rollers in rolling wheels and railroad wheels. Last, we have malleable cast iron. If we take the white cast iron and if we heat between 800 degrees centigrade to 900 degrees centigrade for long hours in a neutral atmosphere, then we get a malleable cast iron. Here what happens is the cementite which was there in the white cast iron, it decomposes to form graphite clusters or graphite rosettes, which are surrounded by ferrite or polytic matrix. The microstructure is similar to ductile nonodular cast iron, but here in, in, instead of uh, spears, there are clusters or rosettes. The malleable cast irons have high strength, ductility and malleability. We can see the applications of malleable cast irons in connecting rods, transmission gears, flanges and pipe fittings. And this is the small quiz as I said in the start of the video. You can take a screenshot of it and uh, you can try to answer the five questions which are there on the screen. Please comment your views on the videos and if you want to watch more videos and support my work, please press the bell icon to stay up to date with the channel and subscribe to see the videos as soon as they are uploaded. And for suggestions, queries on the content or for possible openings, collaboration, video sponsorship, you can reach out to me on my LinkedIn, email, commenting on the YouTube or by uh, WhatsApp or normal call. And if you have any general questions pertaining to metallurgy material science, then askmemetallurgy.com is a great website. It's a student's community having 15 sections like physical metallurgy and heat treatment, mechanical metallurgy and so on. And the questioners can select a section most relevant to their question and post their question on the same. 
that is all for today's video thank you so much